shell and the dolphin. Hanji! Watch this. We're at Red Sea Beach! We're looking for the bus station now because tomorrow we're going to travel about two hours to a city called Panjin and we want to buy our bus tickets today. gonna go and buy us our tickets they're 85 RMB per person and yeah, that's the ticket booth so it took about 50 minutes by taxi and it was approximately a hundred RMB to take a bit of a walk, yeah. about a three kilometer walk that is. The park's actually huge. Apparently this stretch of road is like 18 kilometers long, so it's a bit difficult to travel inside the park if you didn't drive your own car and you're not part of a tour group. Yeah. We saw some bikes that you could take, but then we just decided we've been sitting on a bus all day so we're just gonna go for a walk. It's okay if we don't see everything. Like what we've already seen is beautiful. Yeah, this place is really stunning. Um, very, very visual.
are. Coming back. City, sort of. By the way, we were wondering what Aqua City is because yeah. this hotel is called Holiday in Tanjin Aqua City. So I was like, maybe it's a water park. Better, it's a mall. <laughs> <laughs> We just wanted to do a quick debrief before we go to bed. Um, we took the 9.20 a.m. bus from Shenyang's SK Tower. We bought our tickets yesterday. They were 50 renminbi per person, which yeah. is less than 10 US dollars. So that was great. Yeah, that was a good price. Yeah. And it took about two and a half hours to get here. I think mm. we arrived in the city of Panjin around 12 p.m. Yeah. Um, before we even left Shanghai for this weekend adventure, I had done some research online and found a couple of blogs um, from people who had visited uh, Red Sea Beach before, mm -hmm. and they mentioned that it is accessible by public transportation, but because we're only spending one night here and less than one full day we just decided to go ahead and take a taxi because with public transportation it can sometimes take twice as long to mm -hmm. get to a destination yeah because um, we, we wanted to just get here and then get straight to the red sea beach yeah and so we just took a taxi from the bus station it was about 45 to 50 minutes mm -hmm. and it cost us 95 renminbi using the taxi's meter. If you don't have your own your own transportation, which most people did, they were driving their own cars or were part mm -hmm. of a tour group, then yeah. it's really hard to get around. As we found out. Yeah. Um, we, our mentality was just, we <clears throat> want to see Red Sea Beach. Whatever we see in the time that we have, that is great. And we ended up going to three different viewing points, which were all beautiful. Um, the first one was probably the least spectacular, but it was a good preview for the last two we visited, which were just like, whoa, this yeah. is amazing. Yeah. Um, and each of the three sites were maybe two to three kilometers apart from each other. So we walked between the first and second site. And then we ended up taking a taxi between the second and third sites because we couldn't see it from where we were. And the taxi driver, a different taxi driver, lied to us and told us it was 10 kilometers away. But then it happened to be just like two kilometers away. Not so even. We were like, what? Yeah. 
it was very upsetting. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, we did give him a bit of a mouthful, but he didn't say anything. Yeah. He just took the money. Yeah. yeah. So that was very disappointing. Yeah. But in the end, we're really happy that we made it to that third site because it was the most red of the mm -hmm. three Red Sea Beach sites that we went to. And there's also a really awesome, gorgeous barley field that is right across the street from that part of Red Sea Beach. Yeah, it creates this fantastic uh, contrast in color because you've got this whole red sea beach area which is this beautiful red crimson color and then right across the road it's this amazing yellow mm. it just hits you it's yeah it's really beautiful it was gorgeous yeah um we noticed that there are bikes for rent inside of the park we didn't inquire about the prices because a guy told us like oh it's too far to bike but i think he was sort of in cahoots with the taxi drivers and trying to get us to ride a taxi so you know then we ended up walking and taking a taxi for the second leg um but totally bikeable yeah it's very yeah, bikeable it's so completely flat, flat. Yeah. yeah we only yeah. saw two other foreigners and they had actually rented a car because we were like how did you get here <laughs> like can we we were if they had come yeah. by bus we wanted to ask if we could join their bus or yeah. Something, but they were very wise and rented a car, which yeah. is something Tim and I are going to look into next time that we're doing non big city travel um, because it's just so much more convenient and a lot less hassle and stress. I mean, it'd probably be stressful in other ways mm. with traffic and everything, but yeah. yeah. Uh, another suggestion is make sure that you bring water, some mm -hmm. snacks, um, and maybe even just a packed lunch mm -hmm. uh, because they haven't got anything set up that really uh, there unless were you were into stands. yeah there were lunch boxes some lunch boxes but if if Chinese food isn't really to your palate then I'd suggest getting something before you before you come out yeah. yeah the last thing is that on the way back we had to take a taxi again so we ended up taking a shared taxi with two other tourists and we paid 60 renminbi to the driver for the two of us. Well, happy travels and yeah. good night from Panjing. Take care. <laughs> Bye. Bye.